YouTube, what's up, man? It's getting near to the end of the Madden season. We probably only have about two months, maybe three months left of Madden 19, man. I know a lot of you guys are drained out. A lot of you guys are tapped out of the Madden energy. But me, myself, I love it. This is sometimes, this is a tough time of year. This is we're on the verge of the June goons, the people that have been watching Madden all year, playing it all year. They know what to do, what plays to run, what defense to run, what's the best meta. Everybody knows how to play now. If you don't know how to play, you can hit the link below a man turf, get my ebook, Skimbo ebook, my defense, any type of defense you want on there. Man turf is great because it gives you formations. Instead of paying for ebook, man, if you want to learn how to run trips tight end, you want to learn how to run bunch, it's like only $5 or $8 per formation or something like that. So it's different than any other site. So if you guys need help, man, check that out. Want to watch me play these games live, man? Twitch.tv slash dub dot that is below. Please follow me on social media as well. I will be updating this CFM team as it goes. This was the CFM I joined. I put a tweet out probably a week ago about who runs a good CFM, man. With the with the season dying down, mud is getting everybody's 99 overall. There's no more draft champions. I said, man, let's play a CFM. This will keep a little bit more energy into the league. This is a money CFM. And the way it goes, it's actually updated rosters, too, with the draft picks. So Kyler Murray is on the Cardinals and so on and so forth, that type of thing. You know, and Kyler Murray has 93 speed and so on and so forth. So the leaders of these, uh, or, you know, the commissioners of these leagues, they put each team in tiers. Like, the Cardinals will be in Tier 1 along with the Chiefs, and the best teams will be Tier 1. And if you want one of those teams, uh, I think there's like four teams in the top tier. And you could bid on those. They would start at $35. But say you wanted them and you bid $35, but I want them a little more, I'll bid $40. And you come back with $45, I can come back with $50, so on and so forth until somebody taps out. You know, that was not my mo. I did not go for one of the best teams. So I think there was four best teams. Whoever won those auctions got those teams. And the other 27 people, I believe, went in a random order to draft the teams. Now, let me show you the orders and where the teams went. I'm, I, I'm really not sure the exact... I think the Chiefs... Um, the Chiefs... I know the Cardinals were one of the top teams. The Chiefs, Cardinals... Do I want to say the Ravens? Because of Lamar Jackson. Uh, I think we're top teams. But I'll show you the list. I actually got picked number 24. Which is pretty sorry. Uh, and I'll show you guys how it went. This is on a Facebook group right here. It's called the Windy City Gauntlet. That's the CFM I'm in right now. Uh, and this is how it went. This is the selection order, how it went. Uh, Eagles went first in the selection. Now, there's there's 26 teams, so I guess five or six teams were uh, auctioned off. So, we're getting notifications now. People want to just buy people and stuff or trade. But uh, the Eagles went first. Baltimore, that was not a bidded team. That was the second pick. So on and so forth. I got all the way down to me. I really wanted Cincinnati because of John Ross. I was thinking about Buffalo too. They have Edmonds, that crazy linebacker. They have Josh Allen, rookie quarterback with a real strong arm. He's mobile. Um, so for me, I got to 24, and the team I took was the Rams. You know, there I am right there, Chris McFarland. I took the Rams at 24. Now, you say the Rams are a Tier 1 team. He has them marked here, Tier 1. That means if you're t if you're a tier one, you it's gonna cost you thirty dollars to play in this league. Now this guy Tracy Banks had the Lions, they were tier four, it only cost him ten dollars because they're such a shitty team. And you see right here, D. Croft, uh Daniel Mycroft, he um got the Saints and they're tier two, so they might be twenty dollars, so on and so forth. But I got the Rams, which isn't terrible. Obviously, they went to the Super Bowl. You say, why are they, you know, why did they last this far in the draft? Why are they only level twenty four? Um, or why did they last 24? Why didn't people pick the Rams? Because one, their quarterback's kind of eh. Two, what we want to go with is uh, they really just have Gurley on offense. They have Brandon Cooks, yes, but the other guys are really slow, the other wide receivers. The defense, although they have Aaron Donald, they really don't have, Um, I want to say, they don't have really good DBs, especially no speed on defense. Really... Just a lack of speed. And if you guys play CFM, I know there's a couple guys that, you know, love CFM. It's a big part of Madden. Speed is the hardest thing to upgrade. So if you got a guy that starts with speed, you can pretty much upgrade anything else, make him a better player. So speed is paramount in these drafts. That's why the Rams went so low. 
I don't run the ball. So um, Todd Gurley, I don't know how we're going to use him properly. But I have the Rams. And what they do is, obviously, everybody is assigned their team. And for the free agents, you know the free agent pool is going to be crazy. There's going to be people in the free agent pool, and you want to get in there right away, get some of the rookies that didn't get drafted, some of the, the you know the fast wide receivers, that are just, so on and so forth. So we want to get in the free agent pool. So what they do is they reverse the draft order and snake. So if you had the last pick in teams, you're going to get the first pick in free agents. So that being said, I had the 24th pick, and I'll show you guys how that went as far as the free agents went. Um, let me see, because let me see where this is on the Facebook. Boom, 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 boom. As far as the free agents. Because this was a big deal, because I had to grab a player that, I'll show you guys what I what I grabbed with. Emmanuel Hall was, I don't know who that is, that was the first pick. I had the fourth pick. Uh, Vilmo is the Giants. He actually got Eric Berry. D. Croft went with Jalen Myrick, the fast corner that was on the Jaguars. I grabbed T.J. Green. The one thing the Rams didn't have was a user. T.J. Green on regs on uh, CFM is 6'3 with 90. What's he got? I'll show you guys right now. T.J. Green is 6'3 with 93 speed. Uh, that's definitely just going to be a player that I use her. I mean, he's 72 overall. You see him right here. T.J. Green. View player card. Let's take a look at him. Uh, here we go. Uh, there he is, TJ Green. Edited him. I put him, put some uh, black armbands on him. I got the visor on him, so on and so forth. But this was my free agent pick because I needed a user. I needed somebody to be able to run across the field, guard all these fast receivers in CFM, and somebody with some height to go swat some passes and hopefully get some ball hawk picks. That's why I grabbed TJ Green. So for me to be able to get a user that's fast enough. I'm going to put him in the secondary with, um, I have Eric Weddle. We have Akeem Tlaib, Marcus Peters. We still have Roby Coleman, who to me is, eh. But the, even these guys, you know, Marcus Peters and uh, Akeem Tlaib are slow, but they're solid. Definitely play a lot of zone. That, that's, I mean, you want to play a lot of zone. That's what Madden is. I picked up Byron Maxwell after everybody got their picks. Um, everybody picked one free agent, then it was open for everybody. And the thing I did, because... I, I, I would love wide receivers, but I knew everybody was going after wide receivers. Everybody was trying to get the free agents. I just tried to sign as many DBs as possible. I couldn't go into the season with Tlaib, Peters, uh, Roby Coleman, and Eric Weddle, and John Johnson. Like This is just a real slow secondary. So I signed Byron Maxwell. Although he's slow, he's 89 speed. He's got a little height, and he's got decent ratings. Man, He's been in the league a long time. So he'd be my fourth corner, not to have any speed. But then I just signed pretty much every safety there was with some decent speed i at least i picked tj green but i signed steven terrell hope you guys remember man 18 was the uh the 10 cap goon uh don jones i signed him 90 speed i signed this guy marcus cromarty 91 speed and this rookie montro meander i don't know who montro meander is but he's a black face guy and, and and if you know anything about cfms man some of the best players are the no facers. We have this guy, Steven Parker, no facer, meander, the black noob Saibot. If you guys play Mortal Kombat, man, noob Saibot was a goon. That's who Montreal Meander is. 6'2, 91 speed. He's going to probably go right next to TJ Green at linebacker. Just to have that speed blitzing and just making plays for me. Like I said, I have Weddle, but Weddle's 85 speed, 5'11. Can't really hit like that. John Johnson, I'm excited about. He's a little bit slow. But he's got good ratings, and he can actually hit. So the second there, I needed to grab those safeties. So uh, I'm definitely prepared for the season, man. I want to give you guys a run-through of who actually is on my schedule. There's some really good players in this CFM, man. A lot of times you get into CFM, and you'll play, I don't want to say bums, but you know, you guys are more CFM players. You're not really the top-notch player, so on and so forth. And I will show you guys who my schedule is, uh, team schedule. Obviously, this is the preseason. Regular season, we're going to go ahead. We're going to play. Uh, I don't know who Killer Whale is with the Raiders, but I know Jay Bird. If you guys watch any uh, C4 or, you know, you guys got to know Jay Bird. He actually paid extra for the Cardinals. I mean, I, I, I wish I would pay extra for a team. You know, I just went with the draft and just took who I got. I got the Rams. But he played extra for the Arizona Cardinals, which do have Kyler Murray, the 93-speed quarterback. 
bunch of fast receivers. It's really a, really a good team. So I have him in my division, Jay Bird. That's going to be a tough out with that good of a team. Then I got to play Timor, former Dallas Cowboys club champion. Timor is back, Los Angeles Chargers. He's going to have Bosa and Ingram and those boys. Then I got Jay Wolfman. If you got almost one Minnesota club series, he lost a strafing, I believe, 12 to 7. So I have Jay Wolfman has the Vikings. Then we go here. I don't know who A. Palipo is with the Seahawks. I don't know. Box him with the Denver. I believe the Broncos guys were in commissioners. So is the 49ers. Uh, then I don't know who TVT hacks is with the Packers. D Croft. I got to play D Croft in week nine. He has the Saints. That's going to be a tough game. Then I have, uh, I don't know who has Hirsch. Got the Chiefs. You know, the Chiefs are a great team on regs. Uh, then we have a bye week and we have Galaxy. BG. I know you guys have watched BG, man. He's definitely on Twitch and he's been a good player this year. He's going to be a tough out as well in the NFC. Semtex. I don't know who he is with the Eagles. Once again, Jay Bird. And then primetime again. So that's what I have on my on my schedule. Now, if you guys look, man, Clef is in this league. Clef has the Buccaneers. He's definitely going to... The, the NFC is pretty stacked right now. So you have Clef, Clef and D. Croft in the same division. Then you also have, if you come down here, Junior, if you guys know Junior, uh, he got the Falcons. He's pretty good. BG with the Bears, obviously. Um, I can't really think about... Vilma's on the Giants. That's a tough out. There's definitely a lot of good players in the NFC right now. So I'm going to update this as it goes. We should be done the preseason tonight, get into the regular season. But like I said, I just have the, um, all I have is the Rams right now. The Rams with TJ Green is my team. Uh, like I said, it's not great. It's very slow. We are a very slow team. Almost want to put, if you guys watch me play, I use a tight end, a, a running back at tight end a lot. I might do that with Gurley. I don't, or I might pound the ball with him. I really don't know. Uh, he says he's a scheme for, for for this team. He's not really a scheme fit for my play style, which is rough. But we'll see. I definitely have this guy, this rookie, uh, Daryl Henderson, can uh, spin, ninety speed. So we'll see what he can do. But definitely gonna have to feed Gurley to win some of these games in the NFC. We got Cooks. I, that's a big plus. Brandon Cooks. Robert Woods is solid. Cooper Cup is super slow. I did sign this guy, Tavon Smith, 6'2", 92 speed, uh, two years. He was a free agent. Picked him up. I'm going to try to work on making him get a little bit better. But Cooper Cup is still still a winner for me. Tight end, I picked up a bunch. I picked up Niles Paul. I picked up this guy, Conk, with 86 speed. Just picked up a, a bunch of guys that can get it done. Uh, defense is pretty much, I mean, I still got Brockers in there, but the defense pretty much is 1,000%. Is going to be Mr. Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. Uh, we still got, honestly, there's a couple guys. Ecubon, Dante Fowler. These dudes get after it as far as rushing the passer, man. They really do because they have speed. Ecubon, 86 speed. Fowler, 85 speed. We still have Clay Matthews. That was the Rams' big offseason move was Clay Matthews. Kind of super washed, but he still has hit power. I think he still has big hitter trait. Going to make some plays for me, man. But like I said, I picked up TJ Green. TJ Green is going to be the bell winner for me. He's going to be my user. He's going to make plays all over the field. So that's how my team is looking right now. I will update this. Pretty much every game is going to get recorded. Uh, let me know below if you want a full game. Every time I play with this Rams team in the CFM, you want a breakdown, you want a 10-minute game, whatever you guys like best. Like I said, hit the like button, comment, this is my CFM team. This is what we're bringing to the party. Rams house.